hello guys i hope you guys are all doing awesome welcome to another video this video is going to be very cool so make sure to watch this video all the way to the end as you're going to learn a lot in this video in today's video i'm going to be installing creality new 4.2.7 board on my ender 3. this is a stock ender 3 which i bought a couple years ago when it first came out and it came with 8-bit board and recently i was looking ways to make my printer quieter because as the stepper drivers on this board are very loud and this printer gets very loud so i was looking online and i came across this new corality 4.2.7 board and also a lot of people had positive reviews about this product so i went ahead and i bought it in today's video we're going to be unboxing this we're going to be installing this on this stock ender 3 and i'm going to be showing you each step how to install this on your ender 3. So it comes in very nice packaging and Corality products are always packed really good. And this stuff is packed really good and the board looks very nice. And it comes in black color. And you know, just by looking at it, the build quality is just amazing. So we're gonna be installing this on my Ender 3. So before I install this board on my Ender 3, I'm gonna turn on my printer and I'll show you what it sounds like before installing this board and once we install this board on this printer i will to i will show you what it sounds like after installing this board so as you can tell this printer is homing and it is very loud you know it's making a lot of noises so let's go ahead and start this process so you know before we start make sure to unplug your wire because you know you don't want to start dismantling your board when the power is coming in because you know it can do a lot of damage you know so we're gonna go ahead and remove the top cover and then remove the ribbon cable for the LCD and I'm just gonna remove the fan just move it out of the way and now I'm just gonna remove the fan connector and that way we can move the fan out of the way now each connector here has some glue on it uh, you can use a utility knife to cut that glue but you have to be re really careful and if you're trying to use that board again for some other printer or in future then I would suggest you to get a pair of tweezers and with a pair of tweezers you can pull the glue off and it will come right off because when you're cutting the glue with utility knife you can actually you know you can actually scratch the board and you can you know cut something so I would suggest you to get a pair of tweezers and then you know as you're taking off the glue you know remove each wire and make sure that each wire is labeled if for some reason any wire has no label make sure you put a label on that wire so that way you know where that wire is going to go when we install our new board so i'm just going to go ahead and remove all the wires for our stepper motors uh, sometimes you'll get to a spot where it's going to be very tricky to remove glue but you just got to have patience and you know slowly work your way and eventually it will come right off so just take your time don't rush I have removed all four wires I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here and now there's two white cables here there one is from one is for the bed and one is for the hot end but they're both identical and there's no label on these wires so what I'll do is I'll get some electrical tape and I'll put that on one wire that way I know which wire is which and which wire is going to go where so like make sure you guys do this because they're both identical and if you don't put label or electrical tape on one wire you're not going to know when you're going to when you are going to be installing these back on which wire is going to go where also when you're removing your end stop wires make sure that you know which wire goes where and each wire has you know label on it because if 
there's not going to be any label you can you know like install them in the wrong place and your printer will not work properly so make sure that you know each wire has label on it so i'm just removing the glue here as well okay so now i'm just removing the connector for the extruder fan you know that a fan which is always running and you keep your extruder at you know certain temperature so make sure you know where that fan is going to go now i'm just going to remove these wires and these are going to i think heating bed but these two wires are same and there's no marking on these so make sure you put electrical tape on one wire so that way you know which wire goes to which connector so when you're installing these on your new board you're going to know for sure that this wire was connected to this side and the one with no marking was connected on the other side so i'm just going to remove these two wires and then every everything else is pretty much color coded so like there's black and red cable so you're going to know that black is black and red is red black is going to go to the negative and red is going to go to the positive so i'm just going to remove all the wires here and when you're removing just move them to the side a little bit so that you get better access to the next wire because they're very close to each other and there's not a lot of movement here also the power cable on this printer are very short you know like the one which is you know going to the board they're very short and you cannot hold them with your hand so you're gonna need a pair of tweezers to hold them when you're installing these wires because you know they're you know that's where you're gonna have the hardest time ever other than that everything else is pretty straightforward you just it's just plug and play all right guys so there's like two wires and they're off now and all the wires are disconnected now i'm just going to go ahead and remove four screws there's four screws which are holding the board in place so i'm just going to remove these four screws and the board will come right off and then we're going to swap it with the new board that we just got today so finally this is the last screw and it is off and the board can come off so this is the board and this is the first time I'm looking at it and it looks nice but it's not as good as the new board. The new board looks very nice. So let's go ahead and install the new board and you know install the four screws in and they're going to keep the board in place and it's not going to move. Just make sure that everything is aligned and make sure that your SD card and uh, your you know the micro usb is accessible through the holes and you don't want to you know like uh, you don't want to install your board the other way around so that way your sd card is facing backwards so you want to make sure that everything is aligned properly and now here's the top part so like the easy way to install these two wire is to fully open these two screws and then you know like pull the wires a little bit and then get a pair of tweezers and then just push the wires in and then tighten them up and when you tighten these two wires make sure you do a little pull test because you know first when i installed these wires uh, you know i thought they were fully in and then when i did a little pull test they just came right out and there was they were just loose in there so make sure that when you tighten these two screws, you do a little pull test to make sure that your wires are connected properly. And now we're just gonna install the fan wires. So there's two wires and they're pretty straightforward. They're not that hard. It was only those two wires, you know, because they're in a very hard position and they're very short. So they're really hard to work with. So I'm just gonna open these two up and then install the two wires in. And you know, like these clippers are very handy if you're doing such jobs, you know, because you know, like sometimes when you have big fingers, you know, you can't put your fingers in there. So like having these pair of tweezers can make things a lot easier. 
I'm just going to install these two wires here and then I'm going to install the rest of the wires and remember when we install the electrical tape on one wire we have to make sure that we install that wire in the right to the right connector because if we do not install it to the right connector that could cause fire you know that could cause that could cause a short circuit that could cause a short circuit on your board and that will be just a waste of money and that's what we don't want so we have to make sure that when we are installing wires we're making sure we're 100 percent sure that the wire is going to the right terminal so just slowly install all the wires uh this assembly will take you about one hour it shouldn't take you more than that uh you know if you got patience you might take a little bit longer but i think one hour is max you're going to spend on this upgrade after that i'm hoping that you're going to see some big changes so you know and all the wires are in now there's two more wires to go so i'm just going to install these two wires So I'm just going to install these two wires here. I know the video is a little bit long, but you know, it's going to help you to understand like how each terminal is connected. It's not a rocket science. Anyone can do it. It's plug and play. You just remove the old wires and you know, you take out the old board, you install the new board in and you're good to go. You're all set. So you just push the wires in and you tighten them up. And you make sure that everything is connected right and there is no movement and make sure to do a pull test after installing each wire because as i said earlier you might think that the wire is plugged in right but it might be loose so it will come right out so here's the last wire man there's so many wires <laughs> i wish there were connectors here because you know connectors are a lot easier to install because you just push them in whereas these wires you have to line them up and you have to you know like loosen up the screw and then tighten it up it takes a little bit of time so there you know uh there's only like two four six you know there's only eight wires that you're gonna have to install other than that everything else is pretty much just push it in and that's it so the hardest part is done now. Now it is just a matter of installing the fan and the, you know, the end stops. So make sure you do a pull test. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get the connectors here and make sure you read the label and make sure that you install the right connector to the right port. If you look at your board, each port is actually listed you know label like it says x y and z so make sure that x goes to x y goes to y and z goes to z you don't want to you know swap these because you know if you do then your printer will not function properly so make sure that each one of them is connected right so here goes the last one in And make sure when you're installing them, make sure you just give them a little push because sometimes they don't, you know, like fit in properly. Sometimes they're just, you know, hanging up. So, and you might think that they're installed properly, but they might be up. So make sure that you push them in. And here goes the fan connector. So this is your cooling fan. And this turns on when you are printing and it, you know, blows air onto your parts and it helps to cool down your you know parts while your printer is printing so now i'm just going to install all this tipper uh, motor wires and they're all labeled so i'm just going to make sure that all the lib all the wires are going to the right port they're not you know like going to the wrong port so i'm just making sure and also like i'm double checking to make sure that nothing goes to the right nothing goes to the wrong port because that would be a big failure <laughs> it's not gonna you know like cause fire or anything else but you're you know you might 
I uh, tell your printer to move x-axis, but instead of moving x-axis, it will move y-axis because you connected the y-axis motor to the x-axis motor. So, you know, you just have to make sure that everything goes to the right port. So that way your printer works fine. So here goes the lost fire. And all of my stepper motors are connected and now I'm just going to install the LCD. And you know before you put power in, double check, make sure that every single wire is connected properly. You don't want to plug in while you your you know power cables were plugged in reverse and that could instantly fry your board. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and power it up and wow the board is lit there's no smoke coming out so that means everything is good so i'm just gonna go ahead and home this printer and you guys be the judge and i'm blown away by the quality of these stepper drivers oh man the printer is so much quiet i can hear the end stops clicking it is so quiet i all i can hear is the fan Everything else is just so quiet. There's no sound whatsoever. The motors are so quiet. You know, if I were to turn on my printer and move my stepper motors left to right, I will hear noise. But if I were to turn on my printer and move the motor left to right, there's not gonna be any noise whatsoever. So I'm very happy with this upgrade. Just gonna go ahead and install this. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and install the fan cover back on and we're all set I'm just gonna print something and see if printer makes any noise and the printer is very quiet so I hope you like this upgrade if you do please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel or oh, we'll see you guys in the next video with new topic so see you then bye